Amen. Somebody give God a hand clap. Amen. How many enjoy this teaching today? Amen. Somebody give God a hand clap. Come on, give the bishop a hand clap. Amen. Come on, stand on your feet. Come on. Hallelujah. If this, this word really hit your soul real good, come on and bless the name of the Lord. Come on and put your hand together. Amen. Now, now, now the Bible says that now when you leave this place now, you heard the word, but the Bible says in the 23rd Psalm is that he meditate day and night. Uh, and he shall be like a, a tree planted by the rivers of water, which means that this word has been recorded by various people. I know I have it up on my wall, and other people will have it up on the, on the wall as well. I want you to take this word and to meditate on this word. Amen. Play it over and over and over and again, and then that get in your spirit. Because the Bible says that the axe head is laid at the root. And the root of, of confusion, the root of everything that the devil has tried to plant while men slept. And so what God is doing, God is doing a new thing, and God is creating, and he's releasing revival in us. And when he re released the revival in us, that revival is going to go out on our job. That revival is going to go out on, in the parking lot, and in the gas station, and in the mall, and everywhere. And folk are going to be going to change and challenge. And they're going to come to the church to say, what must I do to be saved? Is that all right? As, as a testimony, and I want to say this real quick, and I really believe this is going to help someone to be a little uh, transparent. Many of you don't know about my story, about my story of having pinned up anger. I was angry for five years, at least five years. And it, it got to, so to a point where my body started, it started attacking my body. And see, one of the things that the devil and the adversary will use, see, he doesn't have no power over us, uh, only the power that we allow him to have. And so what happens is he'll use a portal. And that portal could be anger. Right. And see, I was angry because I couldn't hold things together. I lost everything. I felt like a failure. I felt low. But at my lowest place, God lifted me up. Amen. At my lowest place, that's when God brought me out. And I just want to let you know that when, you, when, you, when you're by yourself and, you, and you're dealing with certain things, when you're all alone by yourself at your lowest place, remember God. Because it's only God that's going to bring you out of your situation. And, and notice that. Stop trying to fix things yourself. Let, move out the way and let God do it. And see, that, that's the thing that that's that's the thing that the, the devil uses against us too. Some, sometimes the way we're raised, because we're raised by a combination of words, our environment, our parents, and, and how we were raised. And, and oftentimes we have a certain mindset. And oftentimes that mindset can be wrong. The thing that I understand is with two people is that two people are individuals, which means that one person may not think like me because they're not like me. That's why we communicate and we talk and we converse to come to a common ground to get an understanding. The Bible says that let us come reason together. Is that all right? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I hope I bless somebody. Go give God a hand clap. Hallelujah. God bless the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Love on yourself. Love God. Love God and treat people right. Treat people, especially the one that you love, treat them right because God sees it and people see it. Because the Bible says if we're light on the hill that cannot be hid. You know what I'm saying? People are watching you when you don't think they're watching you. Yeah. And based on your steps, we determine when they come to the church or turn away from the church. If you cussing and acting all crazy outside somewhere you don't think nobody's seeing, somebody's going to see you. Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. With uplifted hands, 